Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Corvo, you're back! Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide-and-seek first. I'll cover my eyes, and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. Follow me, Corvo. While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. If you're so good at this, I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. Peekaboo! What about here? Okay, you win. We should go now, so Mother can see you too. for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. If we're lucky, one of them will get Corvo. Headshot. Ever. The second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. What a sight you are in that mask. Psst. 
Corvo. It's me. What a sight you were. What do you want? <laughs> Can't seriously expect me to. <coughs> Campbell, this wine's rather strong. Is it? You're not a lightweight, are you? I can't feel my hands. Really? Can you feel yourself dying, you ridiculous parasite? What did you say? <coughs> Campbell. I do love my life. <clears throat> can, can he be dead? Guards, come at once! An assassin has poisoned Kurna. This noble soul. Lock the place down and search the offices from top to bottom. The walls are breached. I'll be in the sanctum as we discussed. We must deny any assassin his most valuable target. To business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. Tivian, you say? A bit dry. Now, I know you'll agree that we can't <laughs> allow word of overseers behaving this way to reach the heavens. You can't seriously expect me to... <coughs> Campbell, this wine's rather strong. Is it? You're not a lightweight, are you? I can't feel my hands. Really? Can you feel yourself dying, you ridiculous parasite? What did you say? <laughs> Campbell. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. <laughs> Take it easy there, old son. <coughs> I'm all right, Colonel. <clears throat> Went down the wrong way. Now about these overseers. We're just as guilty as my own men, if not more. But my overseers have a name to protect. I can't allow you to... No. Oh, no. This can't be happening. Who stopped this? What on earth are you talking about? No time, no time. Listen carefully, you must... I instruct the Lord Regent to burn the Black Book. Understand? Burn it! What Black Book? What do you mean? Tell him. Warn them. And then die of plague, you useless incompetent. I never fight you. How? Brutality. You know what? Excommunication's too good for him. I'm a fucking kill him anyway. <laughs> that might be worth checking out. Someone get over here! Is that 
with you. Filthy mudlark. Better to tramp. I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. He didn't get a good look. Did he say what he wanted? I hear he didn't say a word, but he went through the place like the outsider himself. Maybe the plague's driven him crazy. He didn't fight plague, man. He had discipline. Mark me. You get that mask off, and you'll see a weeper. Know what I think? He's one of Dowd's. That's how he fought. Like a shadow. Hehe, <laughs> they're talking about me, and they don't know that I'm listening. You've been reading too many scary novels. You think I'm scared? You're shaking like a little girl. Go jump off Caldwin's bridge. Who do you want me to be tonight, Lord Pendleton? state that the conservative position gets an extra three votes. But not in the month of timber. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a courtesan, Lord Pendleton? I was a clerk. What is that noise? Oh, no. No, no, no.
I now turn... position himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Wherever Brutality. A citywide ban on wit. Please, please don't hurt me. You're here to kill the regent, aren't you? Spare my life, and I can help you beat him. He makes recordings on audiograph, secrets. Some that would destroy him if others heard. Played on this amplifier, his confessions will be broadcast throughout the city. He'll be ruined. The audiograph card you want is in a safe in the Lord Regent's room. But I was able to see the combination over his shoulder. 935. Trust me, what's recorded on that card will do the trick. Good luck. If I explain, then you will see I am not at fault. My poverty eradication plan was meant to bring... You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna kill him anyway. Prosperity to the city. To be the most scoundrel. Who waste the days and Ruth and 
and drink what are you without... Doing? other than to beg for the coin for which the rest of us toil, and it was a simple... to you, sir. So many schemes you had. Let someone be... And now we fight the duel. The... I'm your enemy. I've never lied to you. You've got... And now we fight the duel that no two others could fight against the ticking of the clock. Do this alone. It's not your place to be here. Go. I have one more surprise for you. I ask for my life. When I killed your empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand. The mark of the outsider himself. And I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was somehow important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing, so my life is in your hands. Make your choice. Brutality. So my life is in your hands. Make your choice. And you choose mercy. Extraordinary. Quiet now. Gra There's my love. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Aren't you a gentleman helping Granny Rags with her stew? We'll eat well tonight, sweetheart. First thing, you'll have to put him to the knife. Don't want him crawling out of the pot now. What you doing? Listen, on me, Corvo. Don't help her. Unlock his chains for me, darling. Here's the key. Go ahead and unlock his chains now, dearest.
That's right. Pick him up and toss him right in the pot. Go on. Oh, thank you. What a fine help you've been. I'll just let him stew a while now. Go ahead, darling. Take your presents and go. Granny's got things to do. Don't help her! Don't let her kill me! You can have anything I owe. You have to gut Corn, her first. whiskey! I gotta keep to the sewerways! Whatever you want! What are you doing? Don't help her. She's out of her mind. I can reward you. What do you want? Money? Weapons? Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. I've heard that some have survived the plague. I don't believe it. Did they take him? They said he was dead. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emily. After she's on the throne, she won't have time for an old man like me. I knew you were sharp, Corvo. But somehow you managed to get through all this mess without losing sight of what really matters. For that, I respect you. The city's gonna pull itself up, I believe. Too many good people here to let it all turn to ashes. I'd best be going. The battlefield's no place for an old sailor like me. That time is long past. Good luck, my friend. Youngest son, bullied by your mother. Bullied by...
you think I'd fight you, Corvo? Sorry to disappoint. This is yours. The key to Emily's cell. She'll be glad to see you. You made quite an impression on her. Did you know that? She asked about you constantly. Where you were. What you've been doing. I told her. In the end, I told her everything. From the start, when we had such noble goals in mind. To the end, when we were afraid, fighting in secrecy about who we could trust and who we had to kill. Arguing over who would act as new Lord Regent. And she listened, eyes wide. She's become an interesting girl. If she lives, she'll make a memorable empress. Go ahead. Kill me or take me to Coldridge Prison. Make your choice. She'll be watching. <laughs> Brutality. So ends the Interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age brought about by your hand. And decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo. For all of the big and the small Where the taller they stand Where the harder they fall We live for today but we die for 